Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis if you're new here, but today I'm going to be filming a wishes candle unboxing haul. I've done one of these before. I loved their candle so much. I'll go ahead and link that in the description if you're interested. I don't believe I did any repurchases, so these are all brand new. So if you want to see what other ones I've already purchased and you're interested, go ahead and click on that video. I see a cat outside. I'm back from that distraction. But if you're unfamiliar with Wishes Candles, they are small batch. They're super great quality candles made out of soy and their scents are inspired by Disney and like rides from Disney. Things revolving around like Disney, even resorts. I think it's the best thing ever. I'm not local to either of the parks in the States. So I love having that piece of Disney home with me, especially now during these times. I really do feel like scents have memories. If I light when I think about the time on Haunted Mansion and how much fun it was. And I think it's really nice that I can just like light a candle and it takes me back. Um, Disney's a really special place to me and I'm sure if you're watching it is to you too. Anyway, I got this huge box and it looks beat up. So I hope everything is in one piece. We shall see. Oh my gosh. I am excited. <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside. Let's start opening it up. Okay, my eyes went straight to this one because this one is the Mexico one. Yes. Okay, so this one is in one piece. I am so excited. I should probably pull up the website to refer back to the scent notes, right? Let me go grab my phone. So uh, I believe they are adding uh, different pavilion scents. So she started off with uh, Mexico and it's called Greetings from Mexico. It looks like this. Also, <laughs> please excuse my nail polish. The notes are lime, sea salt, tequila, and sugar. So every eight ounce candle does come with a pin included. I may or may not do a pin extraction at the end of the video. So tune in to the end of the video so you can see what I get and things like that. And if you're just interested on how that works, so every candle is topped with glitter, which I think it's, it's just magical. They didn't have to do that, but they did, and it's great. It's a great touch. Wow. How do you get tequila in there? <laughs> this smells like the margaritas from that one quick service. Sorry, I've only been to Disney World once, but um, that one quick service where they have frozen margaritas, that's what that smells like to me. I love those so much. My mouth is watering. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away now. Okay, this is a yes for me. I think I'm gonna light this one first. I'm gonna set this over here so that I can light it first. Next one is have a nice flight. Yes. I've been dying to try this one. Um, have a nice flight. This candle is inspired by Zorn when you fly over Fiji. The notes for this one are uh, succulent agave, cactus, water lily, and oak moss. How do you, how? How do you get that in a candle? Weird, I feel weird. Um, like I said, certain scents trigger memories, happy memories, feel like I'm on Soarin'. I'm on a chair and my feet are dangling because I'm short. And like smelling this and having my feet dangling just makes me feel weird, like a good weird, like fuzzy. Come smell this candle. Does this candle remind you of Fiji and Soren? Remember when you fly over Fiji? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like it almost smells kind of earthy too. Like like it doesn't just smell like the water. It smells like kind of grassy a little bit. Like fresh cut grass, but mostly like Fiji. Mm hmm Do you want to know what the sense the notes are? Yeah. Succulent agave cactus. Okay, so yeah, water right. lily and oak moss. Yeah, so that's pretty close. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what it, that's what it smells like more, but it does smell like that scene when you're going over. So I don't know. I'm I don't weird. Know if going for because the, the water would be it would be salt. It would be salty, but it like you would smell like ocean. You know? Yeah, and it's weird so because my feet be... are dangling right now, uh, and I want to cry, but the ooh. video must go on. <laughs> I did not plan for that to happen. Um, so. <laughs> I got two shipwreck. I I think this is what they both are, um, right? But I got two shipwreck. Is it shipwreck or shipwrecked? Shipwrecked. Past tense. Um, I got two of them because apparently it smells like the water from pirates, and 
a while back I posted on my Instagram saying like, yo, if you know any, any scents, any candles, even at Target, like that smell, even the slightest of pirate's water, let me know because I need that in my life. I just, I just miss it all the time. Anyway, so shipwreck. The notes for this candle are fresh waters, musk, and a word I can't pronounce. Cyclamen. <laughs> Hold up. We, um, uh, can you smell this one too? Don't tell me what this is though. Okay, I won't, here. He's shrugging his shoulders. Babe, there's glitter. It's kind of sweet. Cake or something? No. <laughs> Cake? I don't get that at all. What is it? I don't get that at all. Give me, give me. It's like musky. No? I am kind of stopped up right now. Though. Oh, he has allergies. I guess I get musky too. I'm going to light this one right now, actually. Is this supposed to be something? A ride. Matterhorn. Matterhorn? Oh. Shipwreck. Is that the... It's supposed to be a pirate. No. Okay, I'm lighting this because I need to know if it smells like pirates. What do I think of this candle? You might ask because I have not confirmed if it smells like pirates or not. I'm going to have to say yes, it does. It smells... I don't know how it smells like water, but it also smells kind of like musky. Okay, this one is pineapple swirl, which is obviously um, Dole Whips, which I love so much. I hope the candle in the back doesn't interfere with me smelling the rest of the candles. I should have thought that out. <laughs> the notes for this, <laughs> literally just pineapple. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. Oh. Okay, if you, wow, this is a Dole Whip in a jar that you can't consume. And I'll be lighting this all summer long and repurchasing it from now on. And the last candle that I have is Bag of Beignets. I've been told that this smells like the confectionery, like Main Street, which I love, but I'm wondering if it smells like New Orleans Square. So... The notes for a bag of beignets are buttermilk, vanilla, and sugar. Immediately when I when I unscrewed the lid, I got a whiff of it and it smells so good. Whoa, it does smell like the confectionery. Now I see why people say that. Guys, can you believe that the last time I was at the confectionery was in 2017? Getting a little bit emotional. <laughs> I look like I'm upset, but I like am, I'm fighting back tears. Um, yeah, I can confirm that this smells like the confectionery. It smells like you're walking down Main Street. What the heck? I'm so weird. I'm so sorry. And it does smell like New Orleans Square. Um, it'd be insane if they did like a combo with a mint julep candle because that's the only way to eat beignets is with the mint julep. You guys, I'm fighting back tears for like every candle, but this one like broke me a little bit if you're a disney lover and you frequent disney um this is the candle for you <laughs> but yeah that's my video for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will catch you guys in my next one let me know if you own any wishes candles or if you're eyeballing any and let me know which ones you are eyeballing but yeah i hope that you're safe your family's safe and i wish you all well wishes <laughs> bye guys